all right guys i have a playstation classic video for you guys today this is going to be the latest auto bleam 1.0.3 now i do not have the official release so i got this from another source now this is going to include auto bleam retro arch emulation station um, 50 plus themes for auto bleam and a whole bunch of other stuff I'm going to be leaving you the links you're going to need in the pinned comment of this video. So as usual, one of them is going to be from my page. So scroll down until you find the wallpaper of the video. There's going to be one link. This is going to be a zip folder. You're going to need to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. So you're going to need to format your USB stick in FAT32 and rename it in all capitals, Sony. Make sure you do that or it's not going to work. Uh, copy all the contents to the root So this is going to also include 50 plus themes for auto bleam retro arch the best applications and the latest cores and the bios files uh, You can also add the ps1 games to the games folder in dot bin dot q format As for the retro games they go in the roms folder in its own separate uh, folders So now for the auto bleam folder. So this is going to be all the files. So applications. This is going to have stuff like OpenBore, uh, Doom, Retroboot, uh, PPSSPP emulator for the PlayStation Portable. Stuff like that. So auto bleam 1.0.3. Uh, games so this is where you're gonna put your PlayStation 1 games retro arch with all the latest cores for all the systems uh, ROMs folder this is gonna be for the retro systems it supports 84 systems so just go through it and add your games uh, themes this is going to be the auto bleam themes so this is going to have a 58 themes i'm going to show you how to change that once we get on the playstation classic so that's about it so you just select all the folders and drag and drop them to the root of your usb stick now we're going to get over on the playstation classic i'll show you guys a little bit of auto bleam uh, retro arch and emulation station so here we are in auto bleam so the first thing I'm going to show you is the about section this is going to show you the uh, 1.0.3 uh, graphics uh, who it's tested by the developers and stuff like that let's go back Uh, you can go into the options by pressing select now you can change the theme uh, cover style music on and off you can choose widescreen stuff like that so if you want to change the theme uh, with your d-pad just scroll over So it's got a whole bunch of themes so just go through it so i'm going to select this one so press the x there you go the theme is installed so first thing i'm going to show you is the auto bleam so press start so this is going to have all your built-in games on the playstation classic if you hit the select button it's going to take you into your applications so this is your applications so doom uh, DS Emulator, Duke Nukem, Auto Bleam Flash Kernel Installer, the PPSSPP Emulator, Emulation Station, and stuff like that. Now let's go back. Now we're going to boot Emulation Station, uh, which runs through RetroArch. So you're going to press the square button on your remote.
It's going to load all your systems that you have uh, games for. So this is the theme that's installed. Now press the start button for the menu. Uh, so you can do the scraper, sound settings, UI settings, game collections, other settings, configure input, UI settings. So you're going to go down to the theme set. You can change the theme by scrolling over. Now originally it only comes with three. Now to uh, load a system, just press the X button. So Super Mario 3 should load up the game. So most of the retro systems are going to work uh, perfectly. Uh, the exception might be the N64 games. So you're going to have to mess around with it, see what works. Uh, if you want to exit, press the start and select button. Now this takes you to RetroArch. Close the content. So this is Retro Arch. So this is all the games that are built in. Uh, you can also scan the directory uh, for the retro systems. So scan directory right there. It'll scan um, each system one by one. If you have a lot of games, this is going to take a while. Now we're going to quit. And now we are back to AutoBleam. So that is the latest version of AutoBleam. 1.0.3 for the PlayStation Classic. I will leave all the links that you guys are going to need in the pinned comment of this video. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.